Hi, I'm Greg Lavadera. I'm doing a little video series all about what we in the United States can learn about house building from the Swedish housing industry. Something that's become very clear is that we need to improve the energy efficiency of the houses we're building here. We also need to improve the, way, the efficiency of the way we build houses, but that's another question that we're not going to tackle right now. My friend Scott Hedges and I have spent several years studying house building techniques in Sweden. We think that they can show us how to build better walls and how to improve the energy performance of our houses here. So let's take a look at why. So why? What's going on in Sweden that we should know about? The first thing you should know is that in Sweden, they build wooden houses. And that seems really obvious, but the fact is that in most of Europe, there's a, a masonry house building tradition. They build houses out of stone, brick. But in Sweden, that's not so. They, they build wood houses. Here in the United States, we primarily build wood houses. That's because we have a big or had a big timber resource. Wood is readily available. It makes sense that we build houses of wood. We build houses out of wood studs, a stud being small dimension wood members. Sweden also has a, a large timber resource relative to the size of the country and a well-managed resource. So they build houses of wood studs as well. As far back as, say, the 1970s, houses being built in the United States and houses being built in Sweden were very similar. Same kind of construction, same kind of wood members, same, same kind of business. So, in the 1970s, there was an oil shortage crisis. There were gas lines here in the United States, people panicked. Same thing happened in Sweden. Energy prices rose rapidly, cost of oil skyrocketed. So here in the United States, we became interested in solar energy. So for a couple of years, perhaps, there was some initiative to do solar-powered houses, to learn about how we would do that. It turned out to be very expensive. We went back to building houses the way we always did. Sweden, that didn't play out like that. Sweden made a concerted effort across the entire, their entire housing industry to change the way they built houses. So for the past 40 years, Sweden has been slowly refining the way that they built wooden houses, make them more energy efficient, as well as more efficient to build. So today, a Swedish house has a very sophisticated wall system. They're using a very deep wood stud that allows them to pack a lot of insulation into, into the outside walls. They're using a isolated wiring chase on the interior of the wall that is also insulated. That wiring chase enables them to prevent wires and piping and cables from puncturing the airtight envelope of the house. Then on the outside of the house, they're using another layer of insulation between the outside of the studs and their cladding. So these additional layers serve to break thermal bridges through the wall. It stops the, the passage of heat from the interior to the exterior during the heating season. So they're using very conventional materials, very similar to what we use here, but in a more sophisticated way. So they're, they're able to achieve high levels of energy efficiency with very basic construction. So builders here in the United States have all the, the technical skills to build walls this way. They really just need to be shown what to do. So that's what Scott and I have done in our, during our research. We've distilled the techniques and the configurations of Swedish walls to determine how we might build those here with our standard building materials. So that's what we're going to look at in the series of videos. Come back and, and watch more. Scott and I have written a lot in my blog about all the topics that we're going to cover here. So check the description below the video, right down there, and I'll post links to many of these articles and you can read more about it. Thanks.